so, <clears throat> you know, what up? Uh, first off, um, you know, I get Jesse. This, these are the celebrities that I get mixed up with. Like, people always ask me, whatever. I get Jesse Pinkman, Aaron Paul, right? Um, Matthew McConaughey? I don't know about that one. I've gotten Adam Sandler before. Uh, El Diablo Beats here just said that I'm the grown up version of the kid from Big Daddy. <laughs> uh,. You know, the kid who, like, pisses on the wall, you know? Writes his name and shit. Um, great film. Love Adam Sandler. I grew up on, you know, Happy Gilmore and fucking, uh... What's the other one? When he's in school? Billy Madison. Billy Madison, dude. Um, Veronica Vaughn is so hot. Uh, Bridget Wilson. Is that her name, Bridget Wilson? Is Bridget. she alive still? Oh, yeah, she's bad at that. Is she married? What? Not not she that that be. matters, but you know, she can't. Can I like I like his style. He said she can be. You know what I mean? Anything is possible in this life. Uh, as long as she got that paper. As long as she got that paper, you know. Um, I just recently I don't know how I slept on this. Like I was just running amok for years and like never in one place for too long, you know. But I completely missed uh, Sons of Anarchy, man. Yeah, um, I'm on season four now. It's crazy. Um, they're in I'm Ireland. Or they just got back from Ireland. Uh, probably gonna watch like five more episodes tonight. Um, but yo, Tara or is it Tara? <laughs> if, if Jack says it, it's Tara. 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 Well, Jack's like Australian though. Yeah, but he, he does a, He does a good American accent. Like he, he does, he's just pretty good. Like, have you ever seen him talk in the interview? He's got like a strong accent. Really? Yeah. I know. I'm not. I'm not gonna butcher where he's from and pretend like I know what accent it is. But it's, he definitely has a strong accent. I mean, I get it because yeah, they do have strong accents. Just like, like, dude, I can speak a it's little like bit like, like, of wanna, Spanish. It's almost like lightweight British. What he how he talks. He's, like, is he from New Zealand or Australia? I have, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure where he's from, but he's like he has like a very very like hello you know kind of accent hello hello uh yeah like speaking You're spanish from London. i can say like you know a good amount of shit in spanish but uh i can't i'm terrible at rolling my r's you know that's half that's half of like the pronunciation shit like you i can eat i can word. eat pussy hella well but like rolling my r's and i played clarinet as a kid as i said in the interview with darko you know so the reed like licking the reed and like blowing on the clarinet you'd think i mean it did make me a good like i'm girls always tell me i'm like on their top 10 list of people they made out with you know um what the fuck was i talking about <laughs> i don't know we're being we're being random tonight tonight is another random night diablo Ask me a question. We're, we're going to do a three-point uh, question. It can be a two-parter question. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's loading up uh, non-samples into the MPC. So we need about five more minutes. Um, I'm going to tell you a story just because it's, like, fresh in my mind right now. Um, I was living in LA, I mean, as I always have, uh, other than, you know, Seattle and Portland, Oregon and Humboldt County. Um, my roommate, he went out of town, right? And he's like, yo, bro, I didn't have a whip at the time. So he's like, yo, man, you can borrow my car like while I'm gone for this week. I'm like, oh, lit, like, I don't have a license though. And he's like, that's fine, you know? Here's my keys, I'm like, <laughs> fucking idiot you know so he leaves town and i'm like at this point i'm i'm doctor shopping like a motherfucker like at one point i was put on a some kind of dea list so like i couldn't even uh i don't know if it, it's, it's a, they call it a dea list or like a black list or whatever um so i couldn't you know get cross prescriptions you know what i mean but i'm getting uh i'm getting uh 90 uh 
two milligrams Zanny bars every month. I'm getting 90, 10 milligram Norcos, the yellows. And then I'm also getting Somas and I'm getting Suboxone from a different uh, doctor, psychiatrist. That was my psychiatrist at Las Encinas Hospital. He actually took Dr. Drew's place when Dr. Drew started Celebrity Rehab. I'm not gonna say his name. Fuck that guy. Uh, he had this pet fucking possum that he would bring into the office and like keep on a leash, like tied to the base of the chair, you know? And I, I just thought that was weird. And he looked like him. He just looked like a rat fuck, which he was, you know? Um, so I got the roommate's car. I got all these prescription pills. Um, I'm fucking dope sick, dude. And I remember I took 11 Norcos to try to get well because my plug just didn't answer for like 12 hours. Um, and it, it, it just made me feel worse. Like it fucking gave me a stomach ache and I don't know how I still have like the lining in my stomach, you know, from all the pills I've chewed up and snorted and shit booty bumped, you know, all that, um, don't chew or snort or even do ecstasy, uh, booty bump it, doesn't taste bad and it's straight to the bloodstream, you know what I mean, and if you do it with women, they'll think that's super cool and you'll probably end up in an orgy that night or a few of them, you know, um, <laughs> so I got the roommate's car and I am driving around fucked up um, on the bars, the bars and the somas. And uh, next thing I know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got black from a different connect. Did a shot in my car, right? Opened my door through the syringe and the, the you know, bottom uh, portion of an Arizona can I cut up. Threw it under my car in case I got rolled up on, you know, and, uh, I fall out. Next thing I know, I wake up in a fucking hospital gown at Huntington hospital and, uh, I'm, I'm notorious there and the courthouse, uh, the emergency room and the courthouse, they, they know me very, very, very well. I can't wait to, you know, uh, donate some money when I have it, you know, and the Music Harris Foundation. Anyway, I wake up in the hospital in a fucking gown and it's like right before Christmas at this point. And because I OD'd and they had to Narcan me, they had to cut my clothes off, you know, with scissors and shit. And uh, so I woke up and I'm like, where's my, where's my Zans? And they're like, oh, we confiscated them. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? Like, that's all I cared about. Not like, oh shit, like I almost died. I'll never do that again. But like, I woke up and my Xanax was gone. I was fucking heated. Um, so they brought me a donation box of clothes, right? And then uh, handed me some car keys. And I didn't remember driving, but I didn't remember till like later I put the pieces together, but I didn't, I didn't like, so they handed me keys and they handed me a note and they're like, here's the donation box of clothes. This is where your car is parked. And I'm like, my car? And they're like, yeah, you're, your red, uh, Toyota. I'm like, oh yeah, 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 that car. Okay. Um, they're like, gave me the intersection it was parked at and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, how did I get a car? And then I'm like, oh shit, my roommate's car, right? So I pick out an outfit from the donation box and it's, uh, <laughs> do you remember that? Like they didn't have any male clothes or like men's clothing, you know, grown up males clothing. Um, it was all kids clothing and women's clothing in the donation box. And then they had, I had a shaved head at the time. It was December, it was fucking cold. And they had a Santa, <laughs> A Santa, have I told you this story, bro? With a Santa hat? I had a Santa hat, dude. And it had reindeer. And you press a button on the side and it like lights up and shit. 
So I, I picked out the, the fucking, el- not a Santa hat, an elf hat. It was green with the ball on the end. Reindeer, jingle bell. And it would it would light up and the song would play. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. You know what I mean? Straight scumbag fucking, I looked crazy, dude. Um, do you remember the, the, the women's uh, surf company called Roxy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, all the bro hoes had it exactly um and all the bros had those trash fucking srh hats with the flipped up brim and shit they get fucking punched in the face dude uh so i had an orange roxy halter top like with the pointy sleeves up here so like exposing my entire arms the fucking uh santa hat with the reindeer that lit up that fucking sang jingle bells and then I had a, a kid's size medium neon green sweatpants. Like, they were like, like the bottoms of the pants were like up to here, you know? Like, that's how fucking, that's how tight they were on me, dude. And then uh, and then my whatever shoes I was wearing, like Vans or Nikes. Never Adidas unless they're, you know, the Yeezys are cool, but not anymore because fuck Kanye. Um... So I, I stumble out the hospital, a new man, right? I have these car keys. These motherfuckers took my Xanax and I have a note that says where my car is parked, right? And then I have this ridiculous fucking orange Roxy halter top and neon green kid sweatpants and a fucking reindeer hat on, dude. Uh, so I get to the car and like, I knew it was my roommate's car, obviously. Like, once I saw it, I'm like, oh, shit. That was fucking stupid. Like, what am I doing driving so fucked up, you know? Um, I look in the back seat, and there's, you know, my entire bottle of Norco's minus the 11 that I popped to try to get well earlier in the day just spilled all over my back seat. Like, I guess, like, cops didn't even come. I don't know if someone was walking their dog and, like, walked by and called 911 and just the paramedics came or what but thank god because i wouldn't i would have got a dui you know um so they left the car parked thank god um i drive it home and uh get some more heroin and uh i decide to walk down the street to this drive-through liquor store right i popped a zan walked out the door I go to this drive-thru, uh, they didn't sell liquor, it was beer, um, and I get a 32 ounce Miller High Life. Now, I was on and off with Suboxone at the time, and I remember this because it was this time period when I lived at that house and every day I would drink Miller Light and I would just be on my Suboxone and I would call myself sober, and meanwhile my girl at the time my ex-girl at the time, uh, you know, like I would never want to fuck because I was just high and like fucking opiates are way better than pussy. Right. Um, but I'd like, I'd let her dome me up. Right. And like, um, she swallowed it like the G that she was. And, uh, (laughs) man, uh, she swallowed it and was like, and I was like, what the fuck was that? Why did you make that face? She goes, that shit tastes like fucking Suboxone and Miller High Life. I was like, better you than me, you know? Um, <laughs> uh, she was vegan. Her shit, she was clean as fuck and uh, a stripper. And fucking beautiful. Um, so I drink the Miller high life in the parking lot of the drive through place after popping the Zan and I I kill the 32 ounce and then I, the next thing, the last thing I remember I'm walking down the street and then boom next thing I know it's like 12 hours later and I wake up on this random couch to this construction worker like this paisa construction worker paisa, paisa banging fucking nails in the wall i'm like hey paisa what the fuck are you doing eh no not really i was like 
scared because I, all I heard was boom, 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 boom. And it woke me up and I was just like, what the fuck? I like realized I didn't know where I was and I got up because I've woken up like that before and like, you know, at a trap house and like my dope or pills and phone or wallet had been taken out while I was on a nod or fucking knocked out. But uh, I woke up and I was like, whoa, 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 what the, where the fuck am I? And this dude's like, hey, hey, like in broken English, like, hey man, relax. Um, you, you, we found you out front face down in the, in our front lawn. And so I had drank that beer and I guess stumbled a little bit further down the street and just fell flat on my face in the fucking grass, you know? And, um, they, him and his wife, his wife and, uh, cousin or whatever picked me up and like tucked me into bed in their couch and like made up the couch with a blanket and a sheet and a pillow and all that shit. And I, dude, I like checked to see if I still had my kidneys and shit. Like it was weird, dude. So I, I got the fuck up out of there. I had no idea where I was as soon as I walked out the apartment complex and I'm out front. I'm like, oh shit. Like my crib's literally a block and a half up the street. What the fuck happened? You know? So that's two fucking overdoses in like a 24 hour period, you know? And you know, I can, I can, I can joke about the stories now, the war stories and shit. Cause you know, I've, you know, I've, I've recovered, um, from a seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. Uh, but like that shit's not cool. And this shit will fucking kill you, man. Um, or put you in prison for a long time, you know, uh, which is worse, you know, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, man, had to fucking drop a video. I'm trying to stay consistent. Thank you so much for the support and love and the views and the comments, man. Like, I fucking seriously love you guys. Uh, R.I.P. Ryan Leone. Peace.